Hello everyone and welcome back to The Cozy Chair, a reading channel for kids. I am so glad that you are all here today. Now, I hope that you had a fabulous Easter with your family. I did, and I hope that you did too. Are you curious as to why I have a giant empty jar behind me? It's because it has to do with our book. <gasps> Jilly Bean and the One Good Thing. I told you we were gonna read this after Easter and I'm so excited. This book by Jill Neistel and Samantha Hollister is one of my very favorite. A couple years ago, I was at the toy store. I was supposed to be shopping for toys, but I saw this bright, beautiful book and I picked it up but then when I read it, I fell in love with it even more. So I've been reading to this, this book to my kids for a couple of years. Now, Jill Neistel has a wonderful blog called One Good Thing by Jilly. And you can click that link down below. She does wonderful things on her blog. She has great craft ideas and wonderful ideas for creative uses for everyday objects. I mean, she just comes up with the greatest ideas for things that you already have in your house. It's just really a fabulous blog. And thanks to her and her team, I have six books to give away. Can you believe it? This is going to be so fun. I have six books and 10 packs of jelly beans. So when the jelly bean jar is full, then we are going to do that giveaway. Are you wondering how? We're going to fill up that jelly bean jar. Well, I don't want to give away what happens in this book. So stick around to the end of this story and I will tell you how to enter and play the jelly bean game. Okay, so this book is actually the character and story were inspired by Jill Neistel and it is written and illustrated by Samantha Hollister. Now, Samantha Hollister, I have got to say, that these illustrations are beautiful. Today I'm going to be reading for Kaylee. Hello Kaylee, I hope that you like this book. This is Jilly Bean. Most days she is silly, kind, and fun. She laughs and plays in the bright warm sun. But one afternoon, not so long ago, Jilly was having a very bad day. When her father got home, she told him right away. My friend has eight Athletic awards, while well, I have none. I got five sums wrong on my test. Math is so dumb. I fell three times when I tried a fancy dance. I even tore a hole in my lucky lilac pants. Do you have days like this? Where you just have a bad day? Nothing seems to go right? Mm, those days are no fun. Jilly Bean, her father said. I love you as you are. If we could count every one good thing you do, we could fill this giant jar. What a fabulous idea. Jilly slumped on her seat and asked, is one good thing really enough? I don't have to be the best at math or sports I find so tough. That's right, Dad said. There's so much you can do. By giving of yourself, you show your colors through. I'll give you a challenge, Dad added. Let me show you what I mean. For every one good thing you do, I'll grant you one jelly bean. What a fun idea, right? So every one good thing she does, her dad's going to give her a jelly bean. I'll do it, Jilly agreed. She grabbed the jar and away she flew. Jilly started preparing a plan of one good things to do. She began by comforting her sister, who was feeling kind of sad. Her reward, a juicy red jelly bean, the first one from her dad. Plink! Look at that! Isn't that so sweet? She's comforting her sister when she's sad. She's probably sad because her doll broke. Jilly baked for Captain Clark returning from the war. This is my favorite picture! Look how happy and bright it is. She read to lonely Miss Little and rubbed Dad's feet till he snored. Jilly had an adventure with seven spirited dogs. What should have been a leisurely walk became a frantic jog. Oh my goodness, look at her. She's got 
big dogs and small dogs and fast dogs and slow dogs. That's kind of tricky to walk that many dogs at once. Jilly being washed dishes with her mom right after school. I love this idea, helping your mom at home. She beautified the beach and washed the truck with Grandpa Newell. Jilly raked leaves one day for her neighbors, the McCoys. Then she held a charity drive for much needed clothes and toys. For her grandma, Jilly knit a matching scarf and hat. She changed baby Scotty's diaper in under three minutes flat. Can you see the jelly bean jar back there? It's getting more and more full. Finally one day, the jelly bean jar was full. Jilly, you did it, Dad cheered. You saw your mission through? Not quite, Jilly grinned. There's one thing left to do. What do you think she's going to do with all of those jelly beans? Her dad says, hooray, now you can eat them. Jilly Bean then shared all her tiny, tasty treasures. Now her joy was more than she could ever measure. Look at all those people that have come to support her. They were all people that she helped. Grandpa Noel and her mom and dad. And you see Captain Clark and Miss Little. Together they celebrated Jilly's job well done until there all alone in the jar was left only one. What do you think happened to this one good thing, Miss Gem? Jilly ate the jelly bean, of course, then started all over again. Isn't that just such a great book? Well, after I read this book, I went right to the store and got a pack of jelly beans, and I played this with my own kids, and it was really fun. And my kids were coming up with all sorts of ways to do good things. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to think of something good you can do. And when you do it, I want you to Instagram me at the Cozy Chair Club on Instagram and tag three friends that you think would want to play the jelly bean game. So when this jelly bean jar is full, then we are going to do our giveaway of six books and 10 packs of jelly beans. I hope that you guys have fun writing down a list of one good things to do, that you have fun watching our jar get full, and that together, we can do wonderful things for others. I'm so glad that you're here. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell all of your friends so I can have more children to read to here on the Cozy Chair. I love reading for your kids and mine. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.